Are you confused about the recently announced Luminar Neo photo editing software by Skylum? Are you unsure of whether it's right for you or not? In this video, I'll tell you everything I know about Luminar Neo so far. I'll answer a bunch of frequently asked questions and tell you who I think Luminar Neo is for and who it's not for. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve your photography, right from capture in camera all the way through to the editing process and the finished image. If you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned and I'll be right back with the scoop on Luminar Neo. Okay, so if you want to know what's the deal with Luminar Neo, I'll cover a few general questions first. Most commonly asked by many of my readers is why are they introducing yet another version of Luminar? So just to be clear, this is not an upgrade for Luminar AI or for Luminar 4. It is actually an entirely new product that they've added to the family of Luminar. So Luminar AI is not dead, and I'll cover that in a moment. Luminar Neo is in addition to it. So it's a completely new product for completely new uses and purposes. And I think the bottom line is it is a good thing. So what exactly is Luminar Neo? They are calling it a creative image editor not a photo editor. So there's a key difference here, meaning that it can be used for things like design purposes as well as photo editing. So that's a key difference between Luminar AI and Luminar Neo. It is going to be layer-based editing again. So if you are used to and happy with and you loved Luminar 4 and you miss layers, guess what? They're back. Luminar Neo gives you the opportunity to do more complex editing, things like making composite images because you have those layers again, as well as layer blending and masking, overlays, and more. I mentioned one way how it was different than Luminar AI. Again, that key word is that Luminar AI is for photos only. Luminar Neo will be able to edit all kinds of creative images, so things like logos and design projects as well. Luminar AI is powered mostly by AI technologies and tools, as well as template driven. So it's designed to get you great results on your images really fast in a few quick steps. But its limitations are that it does not have layers, so therefore you can't do some of the complex edits that you could perhaps do in Photoshop or Luminar 4. There's also been some complaints about the speed at which Luminar AI runs on various different computer systems. And that is due to the amount of AI technology that they built in and unfortunately the way that it was built. I believe, now keep in mind this is my personal opinion only, is that Skylum has learned a lot from building Luminar AI and learned a lot about the AI technologies and how they run under the hood and the algorithms and they've learned that how they built that engine, again this is my opinion, how they built that engine is not as efficient as it could be and unfortunately the way that it's built it can't be altered to make it more efficient. So they've reassessed all of the things they've learned from making Luminar AI and have come up with a new product called Luminar Neo in which they're going to fix and address a lot of the speed issues. So if you're used to using Luminar 4 or Luminar AI as a standalone editor and you have all your images in your catalog, you'll be able to do that with Luminar Neo as well. It also works as a plugin for Photoshop, Lightroom, Apple Photos, and coming soon, Microsoft Photos. Note that it is not compatible with Photoshop Elements. It will, however, work for Apple M1 processors and Windows 11. What can Luminar Neo do is another question I'm commonly asked. It will have many of the same tools that you already have come to enjoy and expect with Luminar AI. Things like Accent AI, the skin and portrait AI tools, which I personally love and cannot do without. Sky AI and Sky Replacement. And several others. It will also have many other new tools, such as dust and power line automatic removal. 
I've already done a sneak peek of Luminar Neo and demonstrated these tools in another video. The link to that video is in the description area below. Luminar Neo will also have layers and overlays, and I'll show you that in a moment. Relight AI, which I also demonstrated in the other video. Masking AI, which will do even more than masking in the new Lightroom and Photoshop. Portrait background replacement and removal. And they're also going to be including a new Luminar Share mobile app so that you can easily get your images from your computer to your phone and uploaded to your favorite social media sites quickly and easily. So what can Luminar Neo really do? You can transform your images with relighting and remove stubborn objects like the dust spots and power lines with a single click. You'll be able to do background replacement on portraits in future iterations. And you can use layers and overlays to make composite images. I also mentioned the new Luminar Share app that will be coming along with Luminar Neo so that you can take your images quickly from Luminar Neo on your computer or your desktop to your phone and immediately upload to social media. I mentioned the improved speed earlier. This will be the best performing, fastest Luminar in the Luminar family. It's going to be built for speed from the ground up still use the AI technology, but in a way that it will not slow down the app. And Luminar Neo will also include a different kind of history and non-destructive editing with infinite levels of undo. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. Who do I think Luminar Neo is for? If you own Luminar 3 or 4, it's a no-brainer, just get it. And I know that you'll be happy with the upgrade from either of those versions of Luminar. If you are currently using any version of Luminar as a plugin, then I recommend Luminar Neo for you as well. If you use Luminar AI and you want it to do more, then Luminar Neo is what you're gonna want. If you're currently using Photoshop or Lightroom as your main editor and you've never used a Luminar or Skyland product, I would recommend that you give Luminar Neo a try. Especially with the pre-order prices, it's a pretty good deal. And with the 30 day money back guarantee, you can't lose. And finally, if you want a really robust photo editor, but you do not want to give your money monthly to Adobe, or you want to move away from Adobe products because of the monthly subscription, take a look at Luminar Neo. Who I think Luminar Neo is not for, if you are brand new to photo editing, as in you've never edited your photos at all, then I would actually suggest that you get Luminar AI instead. Because of the template workflow and the AI tools, I think you'll find it easier, at least initially. Then you may want to add Luminar Neo to your repertoire at a later date. If you're currently using Apple or Microsoft Photos programs, likewise for you, I would recommend Luminar AI. I think it would be a better complement as a plugin for those. And finally, if your computer does not meet the minimum specs, you can find the minimum computer requirements on the Skylum website to see if your computer will handle Luminar Neo. Let's dig into the real dirt now, shall we? There's a lot of misconceptions and confusion around Luminar Neo, so I want to try and clear up some commonly asked questions. Do you have to pay a monthly subscription to get it? No, you don't. It's a one-time purchase. There is something called Luminar X, which is a membership with Skylum, but what that does, it allows you to get free assets every month, like additional sky images or templates, free of charge along with this membership. So the monthly fee is for assets, not for the program itself. Do I need both Luminar AI and Luminar Neo? The short answer is no, they work independently. However, there are currently bundles available with Luminar AI and Neo together. So if you want to get started and you don't have any other version, buy that bundle, you can get started with Luminar AI now, and then you'll get the delivery of Luminar Neo when it's available this winter. Will my Luminar AI templates work in Luminar Neo? Again, quick answer is yes. They have promised that they will have a transfer or migration tool available so that any templates that you've created or purchased for Luminar AI will also work in Neo. Now the biggie is, will my Luminar AI catalog transfer over to Luminar Neo? Initially, the answer was no. 
but they have announced that they will make a migration tool to be able to take your Luminar AI catalog and migrate it over to using a Luminar Neo. It may not, however, come with the initial release of Luminar Neo. You may have to wait a little bit for a future update. Does all of this mean that Luminar AI is a dead product? No, it's not dead. A dead product means that it's not being updated or upgraded or supported any longer. Luminar 4 is such a product. There's no more updates, so future updates to operating systems on Windows or Mac means that Luminar 4 may not run. That is not the case with Luminar AI. They will continue to support it and make sure that it runs on all new operating systems, and that they will also continue to update and upgrade the existing tools that are already in Luminar AI and to improve them as necessary. So why can't they just take Luminar AI and upgrade it to Luminar Neo? Again, that's a big question, but as I've explained earlier, the engine that runs the software is completely different, and the two softwares are for completely different users and different end goals. Luminar AI is for people who want to get in and out and do their photo editing as quickly as possible, and Luminar Neo is for people that want to do a little bit more complex editing and have more control. Think of it as a comparison between Photoshop Elements and Photoshop CC. They do similar things, but they are for different people. For the object removals like dust spot and power lines, will you be able to see the mask? As I demonstrated in my other video, no, you can't see the mask, but if you hit the backslash key to see the before image, you can see what's been removed and you can then paint over it and restore it if it removes something that you don't want removed. So why would you want to buy software that's not available yet? If you're unsure, I would suggest that you actually do wait until it's fully released and then you can do a trial and see if it's for you or not. However, if you do like the look of what Luminar Neo is capable of and what it can do, I would say take a chance and pre-order it because of the 30 day money back guarantee, it's actually risk free. So if you're not happy with it, once you get it, you have 30 days to decide and return it and get a full refund. You'll also be able to get it at pre-order prices, which are always a bit lower. Will Luminar Neo have things like focus stacking and exposure blending or HDR? Those are not features that are currently planned to include in Luminar Neo, but that may be something that they think about for future versions. If you want to do HDR, I recommend that you look at Aurora HDR, also by Skylum. I've done a review of Aurora HDR previously. Check the description below for a link to that video. If you already own any of Skylum software, so previous versions of Luminar or Aurora HDR that I just mentioned, yes, there is a loyalty discount for you. So that means that you will pay even less for Luminar Neo if you get it now. Something else I get asked a lot is that I'm just saying all of this because Skylum is paying me. That is not the case at all. I do not work as a paid contractor or employee for Skylum. I am an ambassador for Skylum because I believe that the products are fantastic and that they work. And I wouldn't be talking about them if I didn't use them myself in my own workflow. Please consider using my link to buy Luminar Neo. You'll pay the same price and I will get a small commission and help me to be able to continue to provide valuable content for you here. So here's the bottom line and the nitty gritty. It may seem like Skylum is doing it again. They're doing another version after they promised Luminar AI would be the last one. And it may seem like a mistake or a misstep, but in the end of the day, I was sort of hesitant at first as well. And now that I've had a chance to play with the technical version and see a bit more as to where they're going with it, I think this is actually a good thing. Yes, they've made some promises in the past, which they haven't necessarily kept. However, I personally can forgive them those transgressions because I think in the process of research and development and listening to people using the software, they decided that where they were planning to go with it was not where people wanted to go and it didn't function the way that they had anticipated. So sometimes a redirection is a good thing. It's true that Luminar AI was not compatible with Luminar 4 in the past, but they have said that they will provide a transfer option for users from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo this time. 
So while it feels like we've been here before a year ago with Luminar AI, as always, as soon as I get my hands on the full beta version, I will be going through the entire program and put it through its paces and tell you exactly what I think. At the end of the day, I'm pretty excited about what I've seen and what I know about Luminar Neo so far, and I can't wait to get started using it. Click here now to watch the video that I mentioned earlier where I demonstrate three of the new tools inside Luminar Neo. Dust removal, power line removal, and relight. I hope I've been able to answer your questions about Luminar Neo so that you can make a decision on whether or not to add it to your digital workflow.